What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing an X-Wing pilot from Star Wars. Let's get started along the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. So we're gonna start on the top left and work our way down towards the bottom of the circle and then pull that back up towards the top. And I leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the circle, come all the way down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge, I'm just gonna pull this in and then back out. Line this up on the right. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw on the nose. So we start on the left side, curve the nose coming down and then up. And then we'll move down and draw on the mouth. Starting back on the left, come down and then up. Step down, draw a short curve for the lower lip. Let's move back up and add some eyebrows. Starting on the left, we're just gonna curve above the eye and then down on the inside. Line this up on the right and then we'll thicken up the eyebrows. Starting back on the outside, just gonna go a little bit higher in the middle and back down on the inside. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're gonna move up and draw the bottom edge of the helmet. Starting over on the left, just gonna curve this up in the middle and bend that back down on the right side. And then from the ends, draw a straight line coming down. And we'll angle down and in. Now we want to pull the helmet coming down towards the bottom of the chin. So I'm just going to bring this down to right about there. Draw a short line going out. And then we'll draw the edge of the helmet. Draw a straight line going all the way back up towards the top. We're also going to add a thick edge along the outside. On the left, step in, draw another line coming all the way down. Now we're going to go back and add the bottom edge of the visor. Starting just up above the nose, we're going to draw a curve going up and then down. And then from the ends, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the side. And we'll curve the visor going out around the eye and then up. Let's move down and draw on the chin strap. We're gonna start on the left side, just underneath the lip, curve up and then down. And then on the end, draw a short line coming down. Connect the ends with another curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Let's add the strap on either side. Starting from the top corner, curve out and then up. Come down to the bottom corner and draw that same curve going out underneath the helmet. Let's go back up to the top and draw that center piece of the helmet. We start over on the left side, draw a straight line going up towards the top. Go over towards the right and draw that same length line. And we'll connect the top with a curve going up and then down. Let's draw the top of the helmet. On the left side, we're going to step down. It's going to curve the helmet going out and then down towards the side of the head. Line this up on the right, go out and then pull that down. Let's come straight down the sides and bring this down to right about there. And then from here, it's going to curve this down and then in towards the inside. 
Let's add a cover on the side of the helmet. Starting on the top left, go out, and just bend that back in. Line this up on the right, and out, and then in. Now we're gonna go back and add some detail to the helmet. Let's start in the middle, step up, start with a straight line going across. Now we're gonna add some angle stripes going across the middle. Coming down, step over, about that a few more times going out towards the right. Let's add a stripe in the center. Leave a gap in the middle, go to the left, draw a straight line coming down, move over towards the right, and then do that again. Let's add the rebellion symbol on either side of the helmet. We're gonna start from the top, we're gonna draw a half circle. We come in, down, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right, come in, down, and then pull that out. Let's go back up to the top. We're just gonna tape this around, and then out. And from here, it's gonna curve this up and in with a short line. Let's draw a short line going up towards the top. And I'm just going to follow that same curve going out towards the side of the helmet. Let's go to the inside corner of the helmet, step up, draw a straight angled line going out towards the sides. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We we'll start over on the left side underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip, go over towards the right and then do the same thing. Let's add that control box in the center of the body. We start at the top, start with a straight line going across, come down the sides, and then we'll close off the bottom. And then we'll add some straps along the top and bottom. Let's start from the top corner, draw a straight angle line going up and out toward the top of the body. Step in, draw the inside of the strap coming back down. Let's go to the bottom corners. We're just going to curve down and then out towards the hips. Step up and draw that twice. Let's go back and add some detail to this box. We're going to start on the top, draw a straight line coming down, come in towards the middle, and we'll close this off. Let's add two circles, one along the top and bottom. And I'll add one square on the right side. Let's line up the hips in the center, step all the way down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and then up on either side. Let's go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. We're starting on the outside, we're gonna go up. We're gonna bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. Let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Starting from the left hip, curve the leg going out, and down on top of the foot. Let's add that strap coming down the middle. We leave a gap in the center, go over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down, move over towards the right, and draw that again. And we'll connect the hips with a curve going in behind that strap. Come down and then in, out and up on the right. Step up and draw on that same curve. And we'll add two straps curving down towards the side of the leg. Let's we'll start from the top, come down, and bend that out. We'll step down and draw that twice. Now from the top of the foot, we're going to step up, add the edge of the boot. Coming down and up, line this up on the right. And I'm also going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across. Now we're gonna add some lines going across the vest. We're gonna start on the left, start with a straight line coming in, line this up on the right, and we're gonna step up, and we'll just repeat this all the way up towards the top.
and we'll add one more on either side. Now I'm going to move out to the side and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, we're going to curve down and up around the bracket. Step down, curve down and up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, then the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side from the wrist. We're going to step up and draw the edge of the glove. We're going to curve up, and bend that out, line this up on the right, going up and out, and that's pretty much it. There's our X-Wing pilot from Star Wars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.